So, hi, this is Deborah Rose. Tonight I have a new name, it's Mystic Rose, and I am going to do a demo of how we can do a Zoom Room virtual online party. Tonight we're going to be doing card readings, and I want to demonstrate how well this works. And here's what's really funny, I have Karen with me and Annette, and they know they're being recorded, and they know each other. So. I thought I was going to have a nice little surprise and have some strangers on, but they know each other, but it'll be even more fun. It's like a real party there. Um, this is a really interesting concept that I came up with because of the virus, and I know other people are doing things on Zoom, but I wanted to make sure that I could give everyone as much of the real party experience as possible. So I have two cameras set up, one so that you can see me and one so that you can see the table and this allows you to see the cards and even though you can't shuffle the cards and touch them I will have you pick out the cards as we do the readings. Whoop, what happened to Karen? There she oh, is. I was just opening it so I could see everybody <laughs> cool. and the table. Cool. So what okay, my, how do you do? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, I can only see, I'm sorry, I can only see you and myself and I can see Karen when she talks. Go up. So is there something green? Are you Go. on your phone or computer? Switch to gallery? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I'm okay. sorry. Would you like to start over again? <laughs> no, because we're recording this. <laughs> and this just shows this is what happens at parties. All kinds of crazy things happen. Now, there's several ways we can do this. Everyone's at a different location. Karen's in Houston, Annette's in somewhere in North Texas, somewhere that we can't get to, and I'm in Dallas. So, um, and I just recently did a party where someone was in Paris, France, somebody was in Australia, somebody was in Canada, somebody was in California. So this is a way for you to bring your group together, even though they're not in the same room. Now, the other way that we can do this is that if you are having a gathering, and everybody's in the same place, you could set up a computer or an iPad in a room and set up the Zoom room and have one person come in at a time and we do the readings that way. So it works both ways. We can do card readings, we can do handwriting analysis, we can do lip print analysis, we can do German wax readings, um, all kinds of things. The only thing that would be difficult, I would think, would be palm readings because of the quality of cameras and that type of thing. But we want to be able to offer you the full range of services and give you the best benefit possible. Now, anytime that we're doing a party, I have a rule. I don't do death, divorce, weddings, or births. It's a party we're having fun, okay? So those can be really stressful pieces of information, so I try to stay away from that. Also, I do what we call a cold read, okay? And that means that when I'm working with people, whether I know them or not, I'm not going to let them tell me anything about themselves. I'm not going to ask any questions. Now, I do have a little bit of a, of a benefit because I know Annette, but I don't know Karen. She's a Facebook friend of mine and asked to be on the, the party with us. We're going to pull three cards, and we're going to see the message that the cards have. And then after that, if the person wants to ask questions, they, they can. Now, the length of time that I spend on parties depends on how much time you hire us for and how many people are in the party. Because you have to remember, if you have 60 people and you only hire us for two hours, we've got to do those quick, quick, quick. But you will be surprised at the amount of information and the depth of information you can do in three minutes. But you have to be focused and you've got to stay on task. So... Without any other explanations, do we have any questions? Here. Karen, you want to be first? Sure. Okay, so I've already done a shuffle of the cards to kind of cut down on time since this is a demo. And as you look down here, you can see the card spread, all right? So I'm going to go slowly over the cards, and you tell me when to stop, and I'll pull a card from that area, okay? Okay, stop. Okay. So that's our first card. We're gonna do three card spread. So I'm going back to the end. Tell me when to stop. Okay. And I also reserve the right to pull more cards if I want them. Stop. All right, well done. These are angel oracle cards and I really like these cards a lot. 
uh, because they're uplifting, they're encouraging, and they're very uh, specific in my mind. Uh, I think they're very clear. I'm going to turn the light on just to, for a moment to cast a little more light here so I can see them better. No, you know what? I'm going to turn the flashlight on. It's a little dark here for the lighting. So this is your foundation card that we're going to start to build off of. And this is a lot like standard to row cards. This is the page of Earth. And the characteristics that they're focusing on as far as your personality is the scholarly, dependable, patient, and successful sides. So this is about studying to be who you are, getting the information that you need to be successful, uh, but not pushing the envelope, not rushing, making sure that you get all the details. And by doing that, it says that you have great news that's coming to you in the next six months. All of the readings that we do at parties cover anywhere from 30 days to six months maximum for the most part. It says that you're getting great news about money. Uh, it says that you have been wanting to do something more challenging and why aren't you doing it? Now's the time to move in that direction. But you're going to have to study. This is not something where you wing it or wait for your, to see if you're naturally talented. This is a gift, but it also takes practice, much like the apprentice studying with Merlin. Okay. The next is the Ten of Water. I always love it when people get water cards because water is always based in spirituality. So this means that there's an area of growth that's coming to you that a lot of people won't see, but you will notice the difference. It will bring you more awareness, more calm, more peace. And it's saying that by moving forward in your studies and getting the rewards from that work, it's also going to move you into a different dynamic with your personal relationships and family matters. And you're going to see that you are like the calming spirit that brings everyone together so that the relationships deepen and there's a more of a, an understanding and there's less, um, I, I, I get this vibration of like this, you know, like locusts flying and you're swatting at the locusts. That's all going to just calm down and it's more of just like a feather floating on the breeze and drifting down. You're going to find that you have been giving more than you've been getting emotionally and that's going to change. Your emotional needs are finally going to be met and you're also going to find that you're able to put your trust in people where you weren't sure that that was something that you would be safe in doing and you're going to be comfortable in doing that. Okay. Now, the final card is the Lovers, and it is Archangel Raphael. So you have an Archangel here as you're closing, okay? And again, this is about relationships, but it's more about intimate relationships. So the other was family. It could be children. It could be cousins. It could be aunts and uncles, parents, whatever. But this is about direct emotional, spousal, love relationships. And it's saying that there's some options in this relationship that you have to look at the pros and cons and you have to weigh all of that very carefully. Um, and the way that you're going to be able to gauge that best is look at what supports you being healthy, both emotionally and physically. There should be no sacrifice on your part whatsoever. By sacrificing, you know you've gone to the left too much or to the right too much. Does that make sense to you? Sense. I love that. I love it's, that. You know, I'm like, wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, very that. much. You you hit that like a giant hammer <laughs> coming down. Well, good. That's let's make it a pillow. We'll just call it a pillow fight. I just yeah. slapped you with a pillow. How's that? Pillow. That's that's really incredible. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So now, do you have any questions? Because if there's a question that we need to address, I want to pull some more cards. Um, I'm having concerns about whether we should move or not, because I feel like a crash is coming in the marketplace in the next six months. And I have been feeling this urge that we need to move, we need to move, we need to move, but I have no earthly idea where to go. Okay, so I picked two cards for you. Thank okay. you. Okay. 
Okay, so this is funny. We have the seven of water, which is a spiritual card as well, okay? Saying that you have a very complex decision that you're grappling with, and you have to do more research. You're trying to make a decision based upon your emotions, and you need to get more facts, okay? So this okay. means that you need to look at the sales statistics. You need to look at the growth progress that has been involved in the real estate in the area that you're in, as opposed to where you think you might want to go. Um, but the thing about it is, is that once you make the decision, you want to stand with that. That's based upon the justice card, which is an archangel card as well. So once you make that decision, stick to it. But you're going to find that you're going to get some pushback on that. So this tells me that you're probably going to want to move because why else would people be pushing you? Okay. And, but you're going to know what you have researched because you have a very good balance. And we know this because you have the earth and water cards as your first two cards in this reading. So you have a good balance between uh, emotional intuitiveness and metaphysical intuitiveness. And there's a difference there, but also in intellect. So you have a balance between all three. You need to make sure that you're using all three of those when you make the decision. But I would say that probably that you would want to consider a move probably around the last of March, 1st of April is what I'm picking up on. Okay. Thank you so much. That is, especially with the justice card, because if I was to go back to North Texas, I would possibly go back into the legal field again. So. <laughs> Well, come on, you can hire me there because you know I have my private investigation company still, so we'll work together. Yeah. So yeah, I, you, need would to to North Texas. you need to come to North Texas. Yeah, you need to come to North Texas. <laughs> no, get out of Houston. <laughs> I still have my home there, and I, I, I definitely feel the call to leave Houston, even though I absolutely love my spiritual community oh. here, but I just, Houston doesn't feel home anymore. Yeah. It never really. Happens. Well, I think that tells you everything you're looking for then, doesn't it? Kind of. <laughs> it's just scary to move back. Well, but is it scary or is it exciting? I'm the queen of reframe. So let's reframe it. Is it exciting like a roller coaster or is it scary like a werewolf? Scary like a werewolf. Well, then let's turn it into a roller coaster and let's hit those highs and lows and just enjoy the ride. <laughs> I don't do well on roller coasters. <laughs> this is the woman who holds the vomit bowl. Wasn't that what she was saying earlier? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I made myself not good at it. <laughs> Thank you. That was, that was so, um, I mean, it was like an arrow almost. Like I said, first it was like a hammer, but it was like, wow, straight to the heart. You hit the apple. So well done. Well, thank you. I like to tell people this is not like an hour, an hour and a half reading, but if you don't walk away with some major information, then I have not done my job. So. Well, it, it just really confirmed everything because uh, I just started uh, actually uh, accepting money for Reiki. Uh, practicing on people. I'm a holy fire master and uh, angelic Reiki master and I, I've always just done it for free and I finally started going you know there's got to be give and take but I always felt a little weird about it and I've thought about having a business and here we go so thank well, you. You moved, to, you moved to North Texas and we'll work you through that because we're all about that at the spiritual neighborhood which is the other group that I belong mm -hmm. to. Luann, I did not realize that you know Karen and Annette. They let me know that y'all know each other. So I am the oddball again on my own show. <laughs> hey, you, you invite the right people and they come. That's right. What is that? You build it and they will come? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So what we're doing, Luann, is that I'm demonstrating what kind of readings that we would do at a party. And generally, we only have three to five minutes maximum to do a reading at parties. Right. But we really try to give them a value. And this is not about being funny, though it can be fun. It's not about being serious, though it can be serious. It's about giving a quality of life to them in that five-minute time that I have to connect with them. So... That I just got through telling Karen her little reading, and she told me I'm awesome, so I'm happy. We can go home now. 
And I apologize for being light. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> it's all good. I have to have alarms or I'm late. <laughs> well, you know, dinner was being summoned and somebody came to deliver the hot water heater. So, oh, well, then you have a perfectly good reason. I just thought you had You're forgotten me. Again. <laughs> no. Forgotten me. Yeah. No. They, the key word here is again. <laughs> <laughs> not again you forgot me the other day all right i was shuffling while we were talking who wants to be next whoever you want to be yeah oh, let I, annette go i'm the late guy so no i was gonna say i'm just gonna let luann go so she knows i'm not mad at her I'm oh sure. okay <laughs> perfect <laughs> so as you can see here luann i have two cameras set up one so you can see me and one so that mm -hmm. you can see the cards here and I've done a little table deck decor here and we can change up the decor to suit any party style or whatever but this is just a generic mystical look I am wisdom and whimsy tonight <gasps> Rose. Okay. okay so I'm gonna throw my hands over the cards and as I go through tell me to stop and we're, we're gonna pick three cards and we're gonna do a cold read and then after that if you want to ask questions you can okay, okay. all right Okay, that's number one. Stop. Good choice. But that's really vibrating. Okay. Stop. Okay. All right, I'm going to have to turn my flashlight on a little bit just so I can see everything. All right, so we're going to leave those out in case we want to pull some more cards. I reserve the right to do that. And this is the five of air. Air is about abundance because I want you to think about how air is. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Either that or you're dead. So it's everywhere. You can access it freely. It's there for you just to take and use as you need it. So this is saying that recently, in the very past recent, you made an unwise choice. You came on our show. No. <laughs> Dang, I wouldn't tell that. <laughs> but it's saying that there, there's something that didn't work out the way you wanted it to. And usually these readings, if you're going back to look at the past, generally it's within a year mm -hmm. as a rule. And the readings are going forward from 30 days to six months. Okay. Okay. Because that's the intent I set on these. All right. So it's saying that whatever didn't work out the way you want it to this past year, you, you need to learn from that and what happened and the way that you're going to learn from that is look at everybody that was involved look at their motives there was a reason for why that happened that way and it is going to be for your positive once you understand the motives of all the players involved okay mm -hmm. and it's real easy to sit down and access and figure it out because it's an air card okay next is an earth card earth cards are about how well you're grounded how well you do on a day-to-day -day basis, and how you apply your information as you go through life on a daily basis. And it says that once you kind of get past this situation where you feel a little disappointment, it says that you're about to get large gifts. It could be money. It could be time being donated to you. It could be somebody puts extra effort to help you along with something that you're trying to do, but it's going to be a huge blessing to you. And it's going to open up doors that are gonna allow you to move into a new career. You're going to move into a new direction. You're going to start using your talents in ways that you hadn't thought about before. But you have to remember that comes from understanding what didn't work out in the first place. Okay. That's gonna be the catalyst. A good example is what we're doing here now. I love working parties. We haven't had any parties in person since March. I'm not accepting that we're done. So this is a new way of doing it. And instead of now working local parties or having to charge people an exorbitant amount of money to travel, I can now work on anywhere in, in the world right here mm -hmm. and be a, at a competitive price. So not to promote what we're doing here, but that was a great example. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, Part of what's happening here, though, is that there is a karmic debt that's being paid to you. Someone owes you something, and that's going to be paid back to you. 
Okay. And it's going to come back in a way that you don't expect when you least expect it. But it will be within the next, I'm going to put another time frame on it. I'm going to say within four months. So this is August, September, October, November, by the end of December. Okay? Okay. And then the last card is Justice card, which um, Karen had this card as well. So it's really ironic that we had it twice now. And this is about having fair and just decisions. Okay? So what happens is, is that when things have not gone well for us, and all of a sudden things are coming and bombarding us, sometimes we make bad decisions again. This is about staying, making sure that you stick to that six of earth, being grounded, looking at what is in your best interest, but also the best interest of people that are being affected by your decisions. Um, the other thing is, is that there will be a few times where you have to actually stand up for your beliefs and stand your ground. I'm not gonna say you have to fight for what you believe in, but you are going to have to stay true to what you believe in and not let, there are just some things that are not where you want to compromise. Compromise is not always the answer. Okay? All right, so does this all make sense to you? Yes, it does. Uh, um, <coughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I may have made more than one mistake in the past, Deborah. <laughs> so maybe maybe a clarification on what that might have been. Well, let me see if I can do that for you. I think you're being too hard on yourself personally, but <laughs> you seem to have that belief. So let me look at it. Good God, if I ever get the lighting fixed to where this is great. So we have two earth cards that I pulled. It's mm -hmm. about being grounded, okay? Um, you have been trying to please too many people at one time. Because of that, it's pulled your focus. You've tried to do too many things at one time. Because of that, you have not been able to put your focus where it is in your best interest. Uh, you have worked hard. You need to work playing. You need to be playful about this. You need to take uh, I don't give a shit attitude, for lack of a better phraseology, and say, <laughs> this is what I'm doing. I'm good at it. I'm having fun with it. We're going to see what happens with it. Once you take that attitude, I don't know you well, Luann, but I speak my truth <laughs> to you. <laughs> you take yourself too seriously sometimes. Mm-hmm. Okay. I agree. Yes. Yeah. And that doesn't serve you any purpose and it doesn't serve what you're trying to do any purpose, okay? There are no mistakes, there are learning curves. Mm -hmm. Okay? And if you didn't need to learn anything, what purpose would you have living? Exactly. Okay? So, you need to quit being so hard on yourself. You need to take the stick out of your butt and you just need to make sure at this point especially at this point in our lives ladies it's time for us to have some fun and it, we have paid our dues literally figuratively metaphysically emotionally i started to say my uterus has really paid its dues with the children that i've had but <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> so once you do that, once you can kind of give it that devil may care attitude, for lack of a better phrase, you're going to see that things just start opening up and flowing for you much better. And you're going to be like complaining because too many things are happening at one time and you feel like that, well, gee, why is that happening? And what did I do to deserve that? Because I know how you think. So, <laughs> Me? I would think that I don't deserve something. <laughs> Am I right, Karen? Karen, am I right? Thank you. Always do for everybody else. Exactly. We eat exactly. Laugh. exactly. All right. Any questions? No. <laughs> She's like, no, I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> no, I, 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 I understand the rest of that, and I think I know where I'm going with what's happened in the past. Well, good, good. You know, sometimes you just have to say things to people, even though, you know, 
it seems out of context or whatever. Uh, an example I can give you know I, I said earlier that I don't do di births, deaths, divorces, or weddings, you know, because it's a party. But this woman walked in the door at a party one year. I'm like, oh my God, she's pregnant. And she doesn't know it. And she's fixed to go spend a buttload of money. <laughs> so I was like, I've got to tell her. So how do I do that and not break my rule? Because I like to stay in integrity. So I told her, I said, before we even start your reading, I'm going to tell you right now that something is about to happen to you that's going to be life-changing. And it will be a part of your life for the rest of your life. And it's going to cost you a buttload of money. Wow. I didn't know how did she get it no not then but she called and hired me to do another party um, for her that she was doing privately and then she called back the next day and she went damn it <laughs> and I said why she goes I've got to cancel my party and I said why and she goes because the time I had that plan because this is a big private party but it was it, further in the future she goes I will probably be in the hospital giving birth I'm pregnant and you knew it why didn't you just say so <laughs> Oh, she got it. She got it. Well, I gave it to you without saying so. Yeah, don't spend any money right <laughs> now. All right. Can you see those, Annette? Yeah. I can. All right. You're next. So here we go. Stop. All right. Did you hear me? Yeah. I oh, stopped. Okay. Good. <laughs> it's right. a little bit of a delay, Annette. <laughs> yeah. Does she lock That's up? Fine. Right here? Okay. Well, yeah, you locked up. Okay, okay, there you are. Okay, right there? Do you want me to pull that card? Yeah. Okay. Her energy. Yes, please. Her energy's on the charts right now on the top. Okay. She's making me sweat. Stop. <laughs> you are. You're making me sweat. Hi. Pull that energy back. Good Lord. What are you trying to do? Blow me I'm up? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. She used to do this to me all the time. Okay. Here's your first card. Nine of air. What did I say about air? Air is about abundance, freedom, everything being available to you. And it says that you recently... I, Oh, crap. <laughs> she says oh, yeah. that you have been expecting the worst. You've had a lot of sleepless nights. And part of that is on your own shoulders because you're having self-fulfilling prophecies for yourself. Okay. How do I exit out of this? <laughs> no, you're stuck. You're stuck. This happens all the time between us. Oh my God. So, so you don't want the truth or you don't want to listen to the truth? Or... I don't listen to her. <laughs> so what's new? What's new with you? <laughs> oh, let's move on. Let's move okay. on. Good card. Archangel oh, card. Strength. It's Archangel Ariel. And oh. it, says, it says that you have great inner strength. And that one of the reasons why the Nine of Air card is bothering you so much is because you judge yourself too harshly. You mm -hmm. expect too much of yourself. You put too much pressure on yourself. You need to stop. You need to go smell the flowers. You need to relax. And you need to honor yourself. I didn't say gift yourself. There's a difference. I'm not right. talking about going and getting a pedicure. I'm not talking about having a facial, you know, spa day. I'm talking about doing something that, that if you were in a new romance, that you would want your new romantic partner to do to show how important you are to them. You need to do that for yourself, okay? If it's to buy yourself a piece of okay. jewelry or a trip or, you know, write yourself a love letter if you have to, you know? You need to sit down and have a heart to heart with yourself and really love on you. Okay. Okay. Take yourself out on a date. Yeah. Makes I'll, go. Sense. I'll chaperone. <laughs> where would I go? <laughs> I know. Where would we go? I want to go rent a boat and live on the lake for a week. 
Okay. <laughs> Eight of Earth. Earth is about being grounded. And the reason why mm -hmm. this is something you need to do is that you have been a skilled healer all of your life. Okay? It says it's time to reward your skilled work. Not your hard work, your skilled work. You have done things for other people that could not have been done by anyone else. Your talents are exclusively yours in your format with your energy, like you're burning me up still. Stop it. So you have learned just about everything there is to learn in the, mm -hmm. in, in the areas where you are very skilled. And, you know, what we tend to do in a society is we tend to take and put those, these people up as gurus, mystics, you know, honored pastors, you know, Tony Robbins, what would you call him? You know, he's, you know, famous celebrity for teaching NLP. You may not reach that on a public level, but you need to do that for yourself internally. You need to congratulate yourself for that. And once you do that, you yeah. will see that there's more that you can do. And it's time for you to go back to school and reach that next level because you're bored. The bottom line here is that you have not honored yourself, you've not loved yourself, and you're bored. The first two we know how to take care of. Okay. And then the other is just moving on to the next level. Okay. Now, it's not a warm, okay. fuzzy reading. It's not, but it is. You know, because it's really saying, oh my God, you're an awesome <laughs> person. And the only person that doesn't know that's you. Everyone else knows how awesome you are. You're the one that doesn't get it. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I will say that I know. Um, I will say that um, I have missed the healing part of doing healing work on people because I, and I just told my daughter the other day, I said, I feel like the only good thing that I was ever really good at <clears throat> was the healing work that I did. And now that I'm not doing that, I feel there's this disconnect and I need to figure out what to do with that. You know, is there, do I move on to another area besides healing? Do I use healing in a different form? Do I, you know, I don't know. Well, I have you some don't. suggestions. <laughs> I do. I have some suggestions for you that I will, I will call you tomorrow and tell you about. And, Luann will be the person that you need to talk to after I tell you this. <laughs> so go figure. <laughs> but it, it has to do with Theta healing. It has to do with Theta healing. And I see that as some place that you could oh, go. Oh, I've done Theta healing. No, okay. I've done that. Okay, well then, yeah. you need there to take it and make it into something that's your own, though. Because, I mean, seriously, you're in. I am very um, well-grounded. I'm not trying to pat myself on the back. I am oblivious to most people's energies unless I choose to feel them because I am very well protected, guarded. You're one of the few people that can knock down my bubble. And part of it's because I love you. You know, part of it's because I love you. <laughs> but part of it is just because you have just got this warrior energy that says, I, it's like a heat-seeking missile. I'm looking for things that need to be fixed, and I'm going to fix them. You're like the Batman of the metaphysics, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you just got all these tools, and you pull them out of your toolbox, and you go crazy after it, you know? Yeah. Okay. Makes so sense. So since you already know about the Theta Healing, take that and figure out how you can make that your own. I have my own version of it. Other people Theta, have Theta, Theta was wonderful when I learned it, but I didn't continue it whole, you know, wholly um, because it didn't do that much for me after that or for the clients that I worked with. But I'm, I'm actually 
feeling led more to the shamanic elements of things because of my love of animals and nature. Well, and Karen's and, work with sh shamanic things right now too, yeah. so, you know? Yeah. So there's a, there's a synergy just here again, let me just point out to the audience as they're watching, there's a synergy here in this group that I had no idea existed when I invited them to come and join me tonight. And here it is. So, you know, this is what it's like when you let your energy lead you. And it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Right. So, oh, you're burning me up though. Good Lord in that. <laughs> All right, do you have any questions? Do we need any more cards? No. You're sure? I don't. Do you think I do? Because that sounds like you think I do. I do. <laughs> okay, then go for it. <laughs> you know, and this is what I do at parties. I, if, Sometimes three cards is enough and people are like freaked out enough that we're all happy. And then other times I'm like, no, I'm not done. I need some more information. Okay, here's what we were missing. We have the 10 of fire. Fire is about change. Now, the thing I love about fire is that there's no doubt there will be change. It's whether or not you let the fire take you and burn you up and you rise out of the, the ashes like the phoenix or whether you manage the fire, mm -hmm. change with it uh, under your control. And it's like sitting in front of a fireplace, nice and cozy, okay? But it will happen, all right? And then the, uh, the other is the eight of water. Water, again, is about spiritual growth. And it's saying that you have the desire to move on. You have that, you, you, you've got the itch. And you've been searching for things that are more meaningful, and you just told us that. What's missing, mm -hmm. not the spiritual growth. That's not what's missing here. It's the emotional growth. You have some emotional things that you need to pay attention to. You are like that lone tree in the middle of the field, but you need more. You can't always just be by yourself. And you've got to feel, figure yeah. out what that gap is. And you also try to work too hard. And this card, the Ten of Fire, says the same thing. You're trying to be by yourself and do it all by yourself. You need to ask for help. You need to accept help from others because this is putting your life totally out of balance. And it's also creating stress on you that is creating health problems. So by bringing mm -hmm. more people, and it could be just two, just two people. It could be just one person, but you are too much in your inner circle by yourself. So you need to just expand that a little bit. And once you do, you'll see that that levels things out in a way that you haven't thought about. Because, now I will say this, and this is me not reading, this is my personal opinion. You're too stubborn sometimes, and you get tunnel vision. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's not like you haven't heard that from me before, so I'm not saying anything new. So if you're able to put that aside and embrace the fact, I have asked this person to be in my inner sanctum, what are they going to give me and expect that gift, expect that knowledge, then it will just turn things over for you. It's like the lake turning over. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Yep. So this is what a virtual online zoom room party can look like. And then we can have three people. We can have 10 people. Um, I've actually been involved in groups where we would just go fast, 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 and had had as many as 65. I was exhausted. It was four hours long, but it can be done. So I just wanted to put this together to share with the, the public so that they could have some ideas of what to do to entertain themselves and maybe get some enlightenment, maybe have some fun, maybe learn something about themselves. And I really appreciate you guys volunteering to be Oh, I don't want to say guinea pigs, but you didn't know what you were getting into. Well, Annette did, but the other people. <laughs> you know. So if you're interested in booking a party like this or something similar, we can uh, design decor on the table for you. We can design costumes to give you more of the feel that you want. My name is Deborah Colleen Rose, and you can contact me at 972-494-3232 or Deborah Colleen Rose. It's on the screen there. You can see my name at gmail.com. So thanks, ladies, for participating in my little experiment tonight. And I look You're forward welcome. to y'all. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. I lost my mouse. Here it is. All right. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>